Yep. Back out. Yet again. Very cold. Freezing. Oh. Oh, just there. Uh, coming out to. Um, I don't think I'll be out this weekend. Not in a tent anyway. Because the weather's looking terrible. So I've seized the opportunity to come out tonight. Whew, just a quickie. Matron. Quick overnight in the hills of the Cheviots. See if I can find a new spot. See if I can find a place over the back where I usually go. Looks interesting, but I'm not sure. Don't know if this is the right way. Find out when I get up there. Look at the ice. How thick it is, how cold it is. God. Oh God. It's solid. I better not walk on that actually. Walk in the long grass. Ooh. Aye. We're in the grip of a, a winter chill. So, there's a, a double reason why I'm out. Apart from, I'll not be out Saturday. Got new, new equipment to test. New sleeping bag. Down sleeping bag. So, be a good test for it. I hope it works. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be done for. Whew. Oh, that was a sharp little steep pit right. I'm crack on. I think we're going over there somewhere. Going over there. On top of there. I don't know what it's called. Don't even know where I am. Blindsided myself. I have got my map, so I'll just look on the map later. But for now, I'm just heading for that. I'll find out where I am when I get there. <coughs> Bit of an adventure. Not too bad. Just walk to see see a cairn, a trig point, just the aim for it. What can go wrong? Look at this. Look at the destruction. Man, that wind is biting. I didn't think it was going to be windy, but it is. Hence, I brought the solo. I have also got another tent to try out, to test and try out, but I don't think it's up for these conditions. It's only a three man job. Eh, uh, three man, three season, a three season tent. So I'm waiting for a little bit milder weather. I'm not too bothered about the um the cold but not the freezing cold you know and the wind but if it's a bit milder with no wind i'll be able to get out on it trek and pole tent looks all right nice and light 1.5 kilos or something it's a big spacious thing we'll see what it's like and for now let's maybe move over there come back when we get up Sun's gone down, see the chill starts when the sun goes down. So, where I usually go, Bruff Law is over there, the, the fort, there's a lot of hill forts around here. The Roman, um, Roman warriors built them for the, for the Vikings to uh, live in. There's the moon, ooh, half moon. Right, I've just got to find a pitch, this looks like a reasonably flat. 
to get it out of the wind. It's not flat at all. That. This is the hard bit because it's all bubbly. It's really lumpy, you know. The hard part is finding a flat bit now. Sort of. Try and get a little bit of shelter from the wind. I'll have to have the back of the tent facing that way. Facing towards the trig because it's, uh, it's coming that way. Cold though that wind, it's a cold wind. I mean, it is the middle of January, like, I suppose you'd expect it to be cold, wouldn't you? Really? <laughs> What's it like here? I'll find somewhere. Oh, <laughs> killing myself. I'll find somewhere and then I'll come back. I should get pitched. It's getting dark as well. Let's get the big light on. Right. Oh, I'm just set up at the top of the hill like I say it's an unnamed hill so basically just in the middle of the hills Cheviots but I'm up anyway just in time it's getting dark the wind sort of dropped a little bit but it doesn't matter tents up right this is the bag this is the the sleeping bag that's the pack size I mean it might compress a bit smaller it's not too bad though. That's all right. I fit it in my bag. I have got everything in my bag, including that. That's the make. Quizzer, Quizzer, Quizzer. I still got the written label on it. I'll go into the details about the, the uh, limits and all the rest of it. You take the limits with a pinch of salt. You know what I mean. Tonight I'll be able to tell you whether it's any good or not. But it's a down sleeping bag. Is the down ethically sourced? I think, I think it is because they said that in the um, in the spiel that they send you, it's all like the best quality duck down. And I think it's the geese that get the hard time, isn't it? So uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes, but. I'll be, I can be proved wrong, but I don't think I don't think that the uh, I think they've learned the lesson now about the the ethics of the duck down. So anyway, we'll get that out later. We'll poof it up, and then we'll bring it back. And in the morning, I'll give you my verdict. Yeah or nay? I've got the Rab 1100 to compare it against, so we shall see. And it is really cold tonight, so fingers crossed there that it works. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm stuffed. There we are, there's the foot box. There's a bag in there, a little luxurious. These things here, it's like a, like a neck scarf, you wrap them around your neck. So when you get in, you put your head, your chin in there and you wrap them around like a, like a scarf. It looks obscene, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's lofted up quite well. I mean, it looks the part. But like I say, we'll find out tomorrow in the morning if I'm still alive or if I've perished. But first impressions are, it's a nice bag. It's it's nice and well made, like, quality zip. It's got like an anti-snag line going down there. So it doesn't snag, which seems to have worked so far. But I always snag as if it's me like no matter what, I always do it. Right, nice, lofting up nice. Alright, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, because I'm freezing. Freezing. Nice warming cup of tea. The gas struggled like. But it's alright, I'm warming it up. Ooh. Alright, so I'll come back out and I'll tell you why. The forecast for the weekend's awful wild I can't be bothered really windy um, wet I think the temperature's gonna go up which brings the rain doesn't it so that's right so I think I'll just have a weekend in the van I'm gonna go to uh, I think I'm gonna go to Annick and have a look around Annick um, do a little bit of video around there you know just oh see if there's anything interesting and then I'll probably um, park up in my usual spot along the coast 
I'm just sitting here now, nice and warm. I, got, I dug out my, um, I dug out my old top, old buffalo top. It was right in the back of the wardrobe. It's got mould on it, like. I had to wash the mould off. <laughs> I didn't really wash it. <coughs> Glad I brought it though. All I've got on underneath this is a t-shirt, really thin t-shirt. And it's like minus three when I'm sitting here fine. It's mint, man. It's mint. It's got big, a big pocket on the front there. And then they've got the chest pocket there. Don't know why I don't wear it more often. It is quite bulky to put in your bag. But I walked up the hill in it today and I wasn't um I wasn't too hot or anything. So that's alright. I have to remember I've got this. <clears throat> Buffalo Special 6. This is my tea for tonight. Nothing extravagant tonight. I'm really not in the mood for cooking. I've got some crisps. Tomato ketchup. What's your favourite? Saucy them. So saucy. And if I can find it. A scotch pie. Love a scotch pie. I might have that shortly. Kit Kat for afters. That's it really. Aye, uh, so just having me having me tea, warming up. And that's it really. I think there's a bit of grass in there. <coughs> there was. <laughs> Aye. That's it. So we'll, uh, I've got the gas warming up in there. I could wrap it up, wrap it up in my coat. It's not the extreme gas. The extreme gas is nearly empty. So yeah, can't wait to try this bag out. If it works, if it's any good, I will let you know. I'll be honest about it. You know, I won't lie because you've got to be honest about things like this. Because this is this could put you in danger. If I say that's really warm overnight and I was really freezing, can you imagine that, man? So whatever I say about that will be right, will be real. Like I say, I've got the Ascent 1100 to compare it with, so. Uh, the stars are out. I might put the camera out for a night lapse later. That's all to come, right? Crack on my cup of tea. Ooh, well, it's uh, pretty chilly. Icy on the inside of the tent. I've just got in there to warm up. Just passed the warming up test. That was nice. I did. I warmed up. So it's definitely, uh, it's definitely decent. Obviously, the main test is going to be through the night, but up to now, that, that was good. It was lovely in there. Nice and cosy. And these neck baffles, right? They might look like turkeys wasits. But, when you're in and you wrap that round your neck and cosy up, it's lovely. It keeps this bit tight up against your face, your chin and that, so all right, it warmed us up. That was really comfortable. I like that, that's a good idea. Looks mad like, looks like something off the top of a chicken's head. But, it did not do the trick. Oh, I'm looking forward to going to bed. <laughs> Yeah, well yet. Oh. Just sitting contemplating having me um my pot noodle. Just to warm up. It's a lovely starry night. You definitely won't be able to see the stars. Unfortunately, there's a Ryan is over there. Clear as a bell. That's also what's making it really cold. Even with this door up there, God, that makes a difference having that door shut. Look at this, man. It's got to be minus three now. Aye, so that's about it, really. Just sitting here, chilling out. Chilling being the word. I'm going to get the get the old stove back on. And that boiled me water for me pot noodle. I've got these Rab hot socks, which are helping. Socks underneath, hot socks. I forgot me long johns again, didn't I? 
you run hills. So my legs are a little bit chilly, but not too bad. My gas warming up over there. Oh yeah. Look at that ice. Ice, ice baby. Oh, really cold. Right. Not much to say really. Mainly about this bag. I'm just hoping it's gonna work. It's lofted up quite well actually. Really well. So yeah, we'll come back later when we've done that. Kettle's on. The kettle. Look at the um, ice crystals in there. Oh, obviously steaming up there. Uh, gotta boil boil the water before it freezes solid. <laughs> oh, man, this is a cold night. This this is gonna be a good test. Right. Oh, just thought I'd try how cold it was. very next day and it's still bitter cold the wind stopped it got really windy through the night like it was mad I was blowing a hooligan yeah I'm still here we will come right <laughs> Oh, look, see, the ice. Oh, it was really chilly last night. Like. So even in the bag, right, kept us warm to a degree, to minus three degrees, actually. <laughs> Still felt a little bit of a chill, though, but it's not, it's not much warmer in the 1100, in the Ascent 1100, so it's not bad. Personally, if you're not used to the cold, I wouldn't come out in this sort of weather, but in like zero degrees, I think you'd be all right in this. So I do feel a little bit of a chill, but I always feel a chill anyway in the bag. So and I've, got, I've got some clothes on, so wear clothes. I mean, wear layers in this cold weather. You've got to just keep as warm as you can, you know? But I did all right, like, Hundred pound less than the ascent. So for a hundred pound difference, like damp. It's the condensation. For a hundred pound difference, I'd say it would make a good a good bag for somebody. I'll use it again, like. Oh, it snowed when I got out for the camera. It's snowing. It seems to have stopped. Right, I'm gonna get packed up and get away. Because I've gotta to go to work today. Work, you know. What's it all about? Right. That was it. That was my spot. Oh, not the greatest spot. It's about the only flat bit around here though. Flattish. I was sort of tending to roll forward a little bit there. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Slept all right. So I'm heading off that way, down that quad track, and then it turns that way, and you can maybe just make out the path. It's quite a walk, like, a couple of miles. First thing in the morning, that's the top. So yeah, it's not a named hill, it's uh, just no, there's no name to it. Probably has got a name by the locals, but not on the map. Over here is where I've camped in the past a few times. Over there. Right, 
oh, set off. I'm not gonna lie, that was really cold. I should have brought the Kestrel, shouldn't I? So I could have checked what it got down to. I'm saying easily, easy minus five. All them pegs were frozen in the ground there this morning. And as for the sleeping bag, uh, it wasn't too bad. Like, if you're looking for a, um, a down bag for the colder weather, I think I might have been at the limit tonight, last night. Like, if you're looking for one for the colder weather, like spring and that, not a bad option. £179. Have a look at the have a look at all the specs and everything in the link. I'm not one for specifications because really I don't know if it's I don't know if they're accurate, even on the high-end bags, you know what I mean? These um comfort limits and all that. I don't think they mean much. The only way to test it really is to take it out. And I was warm enough. Uh, I, I think I might have been maybe on the limit <laughs> right that noise in the back you can hear is my bottle of water which has frozen solid so I can't even get a drink yeah it was pretty cold alright I'm gonna get me get myself down and look out for the van video and his camper van That'll be out. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out on Saturday and do a little video of me Saturday. I'm not coming because the weather's meant to be horrendous. Horrendous. I'm a bit fed up with the wild wind. Like, um, and this video that I'm doing now might be out Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. All right. So we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da for new!